Now to a story you will see only here on 7 about a Detroit Red Wing legends fight to keep his care. Vladimir Konstantinov's care took him to Lansing this week to ask lawmakers to change a law they say needs to be fixed for about 18,000 people here in Michigan. A 2019 law slashed payments across the board by some 45% for people living with catastrophic injuries from car accidents. Michigan's House Speaker supports the original law and said this week, quote, it's time to move on. Discharge notices are already being sent to patients across the state. Well, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell going in depth tonight with a behind the scenes look at how politics is working and is not working for accident victims. Nemina picked up four assists last three games. Big hit, Constantino! They called him the Vladinator because he fought on the ice for the Red Wings, helping them win the Stanley Cup for the first time in 42 years in 1997. Then days later, as he celebrated, a limo crashed, leaving him with catastrophic injuries. This week, he went to Lansing to fight to keep care for himself and thousands of others. As Vladimir Konstantinov's friend and attorney Jim Balanka spoke for him, I exclusively was allowed to record his meetings with lawmakers. I'm sitting at the table where Vladimir Konstantinov and his team met with members of the House and Senate in Lansing, and they say they get the impression that there are enough votes to pass legislation, but there are key leaders who are blocking it at this point in time. Vladdy will not survive. And I understand that. I mean, I understand that there's problems in this. State Representative Jeff Urich, a Republican from Macomb County, says health care companies can afford the 45% cut. But unfortunately, a lot of health care providers were gouging the system. There is a bipartisan group of lawmakers who want the 45% cut repealed, saying it's hurting the injured. State Senator Doug Wozniak, a Republican from Macomb County, is one of them. Personally, we'll keep working on this no matter what. I, I believe in the people that are injured. I believe that they need the care. Cutting all of our providers 45% percent will cause people to close their doors. House Democratic floor leader Yusuf Rabi asked Konstantinov to sign his bill repealing the law. He says if it is logical to impose a 45 percent cut on attendant care, it's logical to impose a 45 percent cut on insurance companies. And it should come out of their profits because, they're, again, they're making record profits and that is our money. Taking a look at the numbers, NYU Stern Business School analysis says nationally, the health care support services sector, which includes home health care, has net margins of 2.42%. To put that in perspective, the insurance industry has net margins of 12.64%. Accident victims keep asking what is motivating lawmakers that are blocking this change, and some have pointed out that the Insurance Alliance of Michigan and insurance companies have made big donations to key lawmakers. If you don't show up at the table, you're on the menu. State Representative Dare Rendon, a Republican from Northern Michigan, is chair of the Insurance Committee. As you can see, she is one of a number of lawmakers who has received thousands from insurers. A lot of good things have transpired, and the Michigan auto owners are getting a rebate this year. A lot of people say it looks like these lawmakers are being bought and paid for for the insurance industry. More than 7 million Michigan insured drivers are saving under the reforms. And we um, are very excited about staying the course and seeing this relief for now no longer the highest in the nation. The Insurance Alliance of Michigan points out we are no longer the most expensive state for auto insurance. The Zebra State of Insurance study found we are now the second most expensive. For now, Republican Speaker in the House Jason Wentworth says he is interested in moving on, not interested in changing the law in the House. Vladimir Konstantinov's current team has a message. That he's one of 17 or 18,000 people. Um, he has the prominence, but they all have the same problem. In Lansing, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Wow, so tough to see. Kim has been on this story for more than a year. Kim, thank you for your hard work spotlighting what patients are going through and how families continue to battle for care. Now, if you want more information about the fight to change Michigan's no-fault law, make sure you head to our website at WXYZ.com.